Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving my first impressions and a little review of the new Coco Brown Perfect Fade Self Tan Oil. So if you didn't know, Coco Brown are after releasing this new product which is Perfect Fade Self Tan Oil. It's a new vegan formula. I didn't know that the other one wasn't vegan so I'm gonna maybe look into that. But this is like an oil-based formula that apparently is supposed to not only fade better, but be better if you have drier skin. And I thought this is really good going into the winter because I do get drier skin. Honestly, a tanning oil just sounded like a really nice idea. I will say I found it really hard to get my hands on this product. I think it was released like three weeks ago and I couldn't find it anywhere. I ended up actually giving my like phone number to a local pharmacy because I was talking to someone in there and they said that they knew when the delivery was coming in and that was just this past week. So I went in and I was able to get this and I gave it a try. So I'm gonna insert a little video of me applying this product. So this gives a really fine mist, which is different to obviously the mousse. In this product, you don't shake it, first of all, which I think is interesting. And then you hold it, this is about six inches away from your body and just spray it and then rub it in with the mitt. I was kind of unsure about how it would apply and stuff like that. I will say there's pretty much no color on application. Uh, it's just a slight golden tinted oil, so it's not uh, an immediate tanner and it gives a really fine light mist spray which is nice it also smells really good so that's what I was thinking as I was applying it I thought it was really really nice it smells so much better than the other one I like the smell of previous Coco Brown like obviously it's going to have a fake tan smell as it develops but on first spray it just smells really good so it says you know spray evenly all over the body it's kind of hard to not do it in sections and this is where the whole no color on application, we'll get to the hand in a second, the no color on application comes into play, is that I definitely, I'm gonna insert a picture of my foot later on. Again, we'll get to that. Uh, but you definitely have to be more aware as to what you have applied to hand to and haven't, but at the same time, that is easy to do because there is very much an oily residue all over your body as it's still drying. It takes a little bit longer to dry than the mousse, but again, there's a big payoff with how much more moisturizing it is and it does smell and feel really, really nice. So overall, my first impression was really, really good. And it says to leave this tan on for three to six hours, but I actually slept in it because I don't know anybody who doesn't leave their tan on for like way longer than it says to on the bottle. It's not just me. Like, I know it's not just me. So I slept in it last night and then I rinsed it off this morning. So this is kind of the review portion of the video. So first thing, on waking up, yeah, it has a really strong self-tan smell. What are you gonna do about it? It's fake tan, but I don't think it's as bad as the mousse. I will say that. I had been really nervous of the kind of oily residue transferring onto pretty much everything in my room. As you can see, my bed is white. So you can even see there's no fake tan from my face on the pillow even though I did tan my face so it, although it's oily it, I really didn't feel like it transferred onto my clothing onto any textiles in my room which is also very nice when I went to go rinse it off in the shower this morning you know what it's typically like if you use self-tan mousse and you sleep in it you're like washing away your stains there's like orange water coming off you but this is not the case with this one it really you, you're kind of rinsing off residue, but it's not anywhere near the same. It's like very, very faint. You're rinsing off like kind of the smell and the residue, but you're not rinsing off any of the color, which is a little shocking <laughs> because you, you might be like, oh, I'm a little too tan. Then you shower and then you feel fine. You might still feel a little bit too tan, but that's just personal preference. I also did like a test and I shaved my legs to see if it would remove the tan because for me it always does. You know, it removes, I would say like half of it um, if I've used the mousse and it made no difference. It definitely did not take off any of it, which is amazing and a big, big bonus in my books. As far as like how it applied and how the color looks, you can't really see because I'm it's cold and I'm wearing a higher neck thing, but it applied really even color like really even color and my arms and everything, they feel like not dried out at all, like with the mousse, really moisturized, really even color. The only places I don't have even color are my hands and feet. We'll start off with the hands. My mitt leaked obviously because my thumb 
was just orange when I woke up this morning, uh, even though I did wash my hands afterwards. And the palms of my hands have now faded, especially my fingertips, but they were, I've been like working all day with my hands, so it has worn off quite a bit. And my hands, you can see my foundation is a little too light, but my hands are quite dark, but it's a nice color on my arms. My feet, I did not blend right, I just didn't really care and they look horrendous which you'll see in the photo that I'm going to post in a second because another thing with this spray is that the really light mist is lovely except it will mist onto the ground right so I had a Turkish towel which I refer to as my tanning towel because I use it to just protect the carpet when I'm doing my tan I could feel it kind of getting really damp I was like ew I was just walking around I was like this and I was like oh it's the mist oh that's fine not fine. So the soles of my feet are orange. And I've seen this happen with uh, the blogger Danny Austin, if you follow her on Instagram or anything like that. She had it on her stories. Uh, her husband was posting pictures of it that it happened to her when she used Isle of Paradise tanning water, I think, is that the mist gets on the ground and then you keep walking on it and it's the sole of your foot and it just absorbs it. So be careful of that uh, and you won't end up with orange soles of your feet like me. Overall do I think that the original is better or the oil? They definitely both have their benefits but I definitely think for the winter I'm gonna be going for the oil. I don't think I would sleep in it again necessarily. I don't think you need to. I'm gonna see how it fades, see if it lasts as long as it says it does. The tan on my chest never lasts so if I can get it to last here I'm gonna be really impressed. So overall I will be using this again. I will be using it a lot and I'm very excited. I would actually like if they came out, I don't know if they have a dark shade, I think it might just be in medium right now, which is really good for autumn winter, but in the summer I would like a darker shade. Um, I usually use medium, but recently I've been kind of leaning more towards dark. So. Honestly, go get you some. If you can get your hands on this, definitely try it. If you've already tried this product, let me know what you think down below or on Instagram. I'm pretty active over on Instagram at anime.yt. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and you can find some more of my videos here while you're here. So that is it for this video and I will see you in my next one.